Hello everyone, my name is Marian Andre and today we're in Shenzhen and if you ask me, this is the true Silicon Valley of the world and it's part of a bigger, greater Bay Area which makes San Francisco Bay Area look small in comparison. This is the hub for creative people who work in R&D, thousands work in this department on all sorts of gadget companies. Shenzhen is also home for huge tech companies, some of which you never heard of. And let's talk about the elephant in the room, Huawei, which is made famous by a famous orange guy with funny haircut, Donald Trump. Huawei has 180,000 employees all around the world and most of them are here in Shenzhen. Reng Zhenfei is the founder of the company and he started Huawei with not more than $3,000. At first he was distributor for phone switches and then like two or three years later he started manufacturing them at a lower price. Huawei is now the second largest phone manufacturer in the world and it makes phones like Huawei P30 Pro, Huawei Mate X or Mate 30 Pro. And this is just half of the business because even though you think that you never use the Huawei product, think again, most phone carriers in the world, they use Huawei technology for 4G, 5G and now the obsolete 3G. Another big company coming from Shenzhen, which is very famous all around the world, is DJ, drone manufacturer. It actually obliterated the competition and owns 80% of market share on UAV drones commercially available. Before DJ, this kind of shot required tens of thousands of dollars because it can only be done with helicopters and an expensive camera crew. DJ has a long range of products starting with DJ Tello which only costs $99 and it's programmable. Kids can learn coding with that and can go all the way up to $2,000 with products like DJ Phantom 4 Pro V2. If you're a professional you can take a look at DJ Inspire range and if you're into agriculture, surveillance or rescue, Matrice or Agras are exceptional. Drones like Agras can be programmed and they can fly by themselves to dust the crops for instance. Advanced cameras with infrared or laser technology can also scan for maps or can find people or trace the heat map of some people that need to be rescued. At first DJ worked with GoPro but because they didn't get along so well DJ started to make their own cameras and now Osmo is as good as a GoPro and I think this is the next target for DJ killing GoPro. If you've never heard of Tencent then imagine a company that has digitalized the lives of over a billion people. Imagine a company with 40,000 employees worldwide making breakthroughs every day. And imagine a company that achieved all of this in less than 20 years. Tencent is one of the most famous companies you never heard of. It started here in Shenzhen in 1998 and now it's evaluated at tens of billions of dollars. It's the parent company for products like WeChat or QQ and also 1.8 billion users on these two social platforms. But that's not all of Tencent because Tencent now has a bank which is evaluated at $5 billion and everyone here in China pays with WeChat at restaurants or supermarkets or even markets. Tencent is also huge in cloud computing, music streaming, video streaming and games. Some games like Players Unknown Battleground or Call of Duty Mobile are developed by Tencent and they have dozens of famous games only in China. And these are some of the products that are less known for foreigners. Tencent is huge in China but they're starting to expand their business all around the world. Tencent Cloud Services is valued at $3.3 billion and WeBank alone is valued at $5.5 billion. Fun fact, they even tried to buy Spotify but failed of doing so and not because of the price. Tesla is the most famous electric car manufacturer in the world, but it's not actually the largest. The largest one in the world is BYD, which started here in Shenzhen. BYD business is split in two. One of them is phone manufacturing. They build phones for Motorola or Nokia and the other part is in automotive. In 2003, when the planet was still crazy about diesel, this guy from Shenzhen had the battery technology for electric cars. And he started to build cars because he had the battery technology for them and no one else thought of that 16 years ago. And it sounds a lot like Tesla, right? BYD buses are taking over the world because they are cheap, 
reliable and they're saving money to local authorities. And I've actually rode in a BYD bus in Santiago de Chile. And this is another less known fact, Warren Buffett owns 25% of the company. Now let's move from phones, drones and cars to something that you cannot touch. This company you've never heard of is called SenseTime and you already know I guess that China has 300 million cameras all around the country that can scan your face and help police find you in less than 30 seconds. SenseTime is one of the greatest companies in artificial intelligence and face recognition technology and it's the service used all around the world by governments, police and local authorities to catch bad guys. For instance, this technology made uh, large cities very safe. So even here in Shenzhen, it's safe to jog at 3 a.m. with nothing to worry about. Because of technologies developed by Sense Time, Shenzhen is one of the safest cities in the world and you can go for a jog even at 3 a.m. with nothing to worry about. The last four companies are well known and established in tech. But how about Genome? BGI stands for Beijing Genome Institute, which was its official name until 2008. BGI has been founded in 1999, one year later than Tencent company. Now it's the world's largest genome sequencing company. In 2014, BGI was reported to be producing 500 cloned pigs a year that are used to test new medicines. I'm curious about two things, how the bacon tastes on them and if they cloned any humans. My name is Marian Andrei, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quality content.